Hey, welcome back to another few days bringing home the bacon. <laughs> Living in New York City. I went to Trader Joe's and that line was no joke. They wrapped around the entire freaking place. Do you want to see what I got? If this is the first video of mine that you are watching, hello, my name is Chelsea. I am a 30 something surviving, living alone and working in New York City. I consider my life here to be pretty ordinary, which is exactly why I make these vlogs because it seems like there's just a lot of us in New York or not in New York living similar average lives, facing similar challenges in life and are just not represented on YouTube. I'm excited for a couple of these things. I'm gonna eat this half of this tonight, these pickles. I picked these up as an impulse buy, strawberry shortcake sandwich which cookies. Oh. Oh. First impression, artificial. Wanna be Oreo. Let me preface by saying I'm not a cookie person. This hits. It melts in your mouth. The icing isn't too rich. Oh my God, that's so good. In this video, I have been blessed with a few days of being able to work from home, which I'm so excited about since I normally have to commute around two hours a day to the office. And I'm usually not able to talk much about or show much of my work life since I prefer to keep that area private out of respect for my company. But this video gives a bit of a closer look into my experience. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, then I invite you to stick around. I'm gonna get into something comfy and then we'll see what happens. That was so nice. I just meditated until I felt like I was done. Turns out I did it for 15 minutes. It's also raining outside now, so it's kind of cozy. I'm gonna open the window a little bit. Almost 11.30. I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. This is your daily reminder to drink some water, but not too much, so I have to pee in the night. You hear the birds though? I have not worked from home since Vivi passed away. So it's nice to be home under like regular circumstances. The emails are already starting to come in. A little background for you. When I first moved to New York in 2016, I needed money so bad. I was able to get a restaurant job within the first five days of moving here. I was so proud of this. So I started out busing tables at a fine dining place, which I ended up loving because I didn't have to memorize anything and I just needed to show up and stay organized and like not drop any plates on anybody. <laughs> this was a great way for me to meet new people too since I didn't have any friends yet. And I'm still friends with some of those people I met at that job to this day. Got the blazer just in case I get any like actual calls. Over the next four years, I worked at five different restaurants, also including a brief moment doing dishes and managing catering for an office space. Cheers. Good morning. It's 8.54. Just gotta like get in the zone. But once the pandemic hit, I got laid off from both my jobs and I spent the next year or so in unemployment. It definitely took me some time, but I realized that I could apply a similar skill set from my restaurant jobs to being an assistant and then the rest was history. It's been a really busy morning. It's been nonstop. It's only, it's 10 a.m. though, but I've just been all morning. Ugh. Coordinating things is fun. I really like doing the logistics side of that. I'm not an event planner by any means. I don't know how much I like event planning, but I like I still like the coordinating thing, the calendaring thing. That's the best part of being an assistant, I think. Really putting myself in someone else's shoes about how their day's gonna go and feeling confident enough to make a call if something isn't gonna work or is gonna work and like being able to prioritize for another person. It, it takes time and I've been assistant for these people for almost a year and a half now and I feel like I know them well and like what they want and what they don't want. It makes my job easier because there's way less back and forth. I really do enjoy that, but it is nice to be here and I feel like I've really been able to focus here because it's been quiet like my neighbors have been really quiet I have a to-do list of things to get done still and uh, I'm gonna take lunch at 12 for an hour good <laughs> I worked so hard on my interviews to be an assistant and I managed to get an executive and personal assistant job right out of the pandemic, which gave me some amazing experience, which led me to the job that I have now. Hi, have I reached the front desk by any chance? Thank you so much for your help. Bye. <clears throat> Oh, nonstop. It's 1130 and I realized I did not eat breakfast. My stomach just rumbled and I was like, 
Oh, I only had coffee today. It's not good. Don't do that. Reminder to hydrate again. I want to go on a run after work today. Oh, it's just so nice not having to commute two hours because now I'm going to be done at six and then I can run at six instead of having to run at seven. It's great. I needed this, but I got a fuel for that. So it's lunchtime. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but I'm gonna eat a salad. Arugula, carrots, almonds, Parmesan cheese, basil, lemon, vinaigrette, all right. I know arugula is, it's not a controversial topic, but it's either like you love it or you hate it, right? I feel like it, doesn't really need a dressing. And that's what I love about it. Cause you can just squeeze a lemon, salt and pepper on it. Maybe a little like vinegar or something. I just love it cause of the flavor. It's so peppery. Parmigiano. These nuts? Don't unsubscribe. I was gonna go on a walk during lunch today, but it got kind of cloudy and I think I'm just gonna chill here and be on damage control for work. Some days are like that. It's 80 degrees, perfectly clear skies. I think I'm gonna try and run three miles. Let's get ready. Let's put on some clothes. I don't think that the camera does this justice. They look way more red than orange. Yeah. I'm so excited. And these are the Ultra Boost lights too, because the regular ones I've been reading apparently are like really heavy and people don't like them because they're heavy, but these are the lights. And I'm just a huge Ultra Boost fan, Ultra Boost, <laughs> Ultra Boost fan because of how it hugs the foot. It feels like an extension of your body, which is exactly what I look for in shoes that you're running in. Although it's weird because I had to size down for these. I'm normally an eight but I think my feet have gotten smaller or all the running has made my arches higher and my feet shorter. So maybe I'm just now a seven and a half. Love these, love these. We've got AirPods this time. I'm excited. I'm amped up. <sighs> Can't speak <laughs> for once. <laughs> The best part about that run is the sweat is in my hair. I just washed my hair this morning. I get to work from home tomorrow and I don't have to rewash my hair. My hair can look as much like Thomas Jefferson as it needs to look and no one's gonna have to see it. This is so great. Let's get beautiful. Maybe you can relate to this. I struggle to find meaning and purpose at a job. Please understand that I love my job and I am extremely grateful for it. And it's not that I don't wanna work hard and provide for myself because that is deeply satisfying to do as a single woman living here, but I've always wanted work to be for something and I've, I've just never found that answer. So I kind of gave up trying to find it in a traditional work environment. The meaning for me in life has always been in the adventures outside of work and the people I've met along the way that way. And it's exactly in that adventure where I crave being challenged, learning, growing, you know, experiencing the world, seeing things I've never seen before, falling in love, having a broken heart, because at least it makes me feel alive, you know? Even if it means to let go of some of that stability required to live a quieter, more traditional life. We're finally settled with caffeine. I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you in a couple hours. To be clear, I am not against a traditional life. If that's what you love, I am so happy for you. But for me now, being almost 32, I'm realizing I, I cannot sit around and wait for a partner in order to start sinking my teeth into my life. I feel like there's change bubbling in me just nearly ready to be unleashed but just not quite ready yet. Maybe feeling like this is just me though. I wanna know what you think. Mm. It's 
good. Come on. Try it. Come on. More for me. Okay, the clock just... Okay, the clock just struck 12 o'clock, meaning I'm on my lunch break. I'm officially off the clock for the next hour. So we're going to go offline. Well, let's go for a walk. It's supposed to start raining in 40 minutes. I'm just gonna throw on some shoes and a raincoat and bring you with me. <sighs> bueno? So New York summers have been very humid and then it rains constantly. So therefore it's really hard to find something to wear so i was like i need like a light rain coat that will keep me cool still but protect me from the rain i'm not going to mention the brand because this thing's terrible i don't know i ordered a small nothing about this fits we're not going to go too far just around the block when i go on walks I don't know why the hell I walk so fast. I'm walking like I'm going somewhere, but I'm not. I'm just outside to breathe some fresh air. It doesn't make any sense. Like, slow down. It's okay. Where did you take it? He's admiring the neighborhood. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> really humid out there though it's just like so wet. but i picked up a celsius i've been drinking these lately i should probably drink be drinking water instead of the celsius but whatever when i'm working i just lack all personality my normal quirky self is just like she's out oh yeah it's gonna start to pour any second two seconds later it just started to rain oh That all the rain we're going to get. R and R is going to get nasty. I'm eating pickles. <laughs> Hi. It's later in the night. It's like 10 o'clock. Once I finished work, I just got into this mental slump. It's like a really restless negative thought cycle that I was going through. It's very weird. So I took a nap. And I doom scrolled for a bit <laughs> and I took a shower feeling okay but you know you just have some of those days sometimes I think that working from home in this particular situation isn't the best thing for me as much as I love the flexibility of being alone for a certain amount of days and not having interaction with anybody except like going on a walk today it's not great so i made plans for the weekend so at least you know coming up on friday and saturday that's nice <laughs> this video if you like this video make sure to click that thumbs up button before you go and do consider subscribing i'd love to have you stick around for more upcoming videos so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one i love you bye